Hello everyone, this is Sapphire. This is a how to set up a VR chat stream and sort of make it look presentable, be able to read your chat and stuff. So I will provide to you a way to set up chat and to set up your Twitch to look nice for a VR chat stream set up by the end of this video. So stick around and we will get right to it. So there are two different ways you could essentially do this. The first way is the free way. You could go ahead and lol the freeway you could go ahead and do a free option so basically you could just do this without having to spend any money or you could go with your second option which is going to cost more money but it's going to look a lot better on your stream these are the two ways or the two the two ways that i found basically that you could go about doing this there might be other ways but this is what i found so if you want to stick around for how to do it for free go ahead and stay here now because we'll move right into that but if you want to find the money way and you're willing to spend a little extra money or you already have ovr drop on steam then go ahead and go down to the chapters down below and go ahead and hop right to the second step so you can see how to set that up if you have ovr drop so say you decided, hey, I'm gonna go with option number one. We're gonna take the free version, the free route. I'm going to drop a link down below to something called Open VR Twitch Chat. This is a free option if you do not wanna spend extra money to get your Twitch chat up and running in VRC. So I'll link you here directly. You'll go to the most recent version, click on this big link, Open VR Twitch Chat, go ahead and click on that. It's gonna download. You're gonna go ahead and click show in folder. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and export it. And then you should have a folder here that's once it's exported, go ahead and open it. And then you're going to double click on your open VR Twitch Chat Unity file and let that load up. Okay, once you get in, what you're going to wanna to do is enter your Twitch channel name. So I'm gonna enter mine in, Sapphire. Press to connect. All right, great. And now if I type in my Twitch Chat, you can see that it will work. Let me do a test really quick. Hello, here we go, it's up there now. Okay, so now I have started up my VR headset and VR controllers, they have to be on for these options to appear. So you're gonna go ahead and click left. If you only still see world and screen and you've turned on your headset and your controller, just exit out of Twitch chat overlay and reopen it and it should appear. So I'm gonna go ahead and click left controller and I'm also gonna go ahead and scroll through this list and go to below flipped because I think this personally works the best. If you go with Twitch chat overlay, you're going to get this sort of weird looking box that it gets bigger when you move it closer to your face, but it's not very aesthetically pleasing like the paid version, which is OVR drop. So you could go with this. I'm connected to my Twitch. As you can see, it says connected to Sapphire. So when somebody types in chat, you'll, you should hear a ding. So then you'll know when people type in chat, which this is a nice feature. I don't know if you can do this on OVR drop. I haven't figured it out yet, but my chat is genuinely pretty active. So I don't really need the ding on, but if you want the ding, cause your chat is a little bit further apart, then that's maybe something you'd want to try but as you can see witchy puff just waved in the chat you heard the ding so then i can go oh let's check chat you know see what's going on again this is kind of a glitchy way but if you want to go with the free option it's a really good route to go with so yeah okay so once you are in game i got everything working here what you want to do is go ahead and go to camera you're going to go to stream camera it's going to open up your phone you're going to go ahead and flip this here you're going to want to make sure it's right side up because it's possible that you could be upside down you can ask your chat you can go into your menu again and check to look at your stream labs and see if things are good or you could just turn around pop off your headset you know, go ahead and look, see if you're good. Uh, but yeah, so this should work. This this could follow you around. I personally like this the best. I think it's a really great vlogging style. There's other ways where you can have, you could just stream VR like the way I was showing you before, where you can see me directly flipping my chat. You could do it this way. You can find multiple setups or different ways to do it. But personally, I like this the most because I think it's fun to move the camera around and have like this very like vlog-like style. I think it adds like just a, a really like fun atmosphere. And there's a lot of different settings on your on your phone as well on your phone camera uh you again you can't see me like doing it right now exactly uh but there's a bunch of different settings you can go ahead and click those and see what they do try them out make sure you do a test run before you go fully into it but again grab it you'll once you do st stream camera you'll have your phone it will come out make sure you flip it correctly and check on your screen to make sure that everything is good and that it, your camera is flipped the right way so say you just did all the stuff for the free way of getting your Twitch chat working in VRC. Now, this is going to be the paid version. So if you just completed the free version, you're done. Go to the chapter down below, click the timestamp that says how to set up in Slob's Stream Labs itself. So you can get to the rest of the information that you need. You could skip over this, but if you're here for the paid version, the paid way, let's hop right into it. So go to your Steam store, go to your search bar, type in OVR drop. 
You're gonna go there, you're gonna go ahead and buy that, download that. After that's downloaded, go to home. You're gonna go ahead and find OVR drop and then go ahead and launch it. I already have mine launched. Okay, so once you have yours launched, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna head over to your Twitch page. So I'm at my Twitch page now. I'm gonna move my icon out of the way here so you can see what we need to do. Make sure you go ahead and click on your channel name itself. So if you're stuck here, click on your channel name. Then you're going to go ahead and click show chat. All right. Well, actually yours will probably be shown already. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is if you're just at your default chat, go ahead and click this chat settings gear wheel. Click to switch to non-mod settings. If you are the owner, you'll have to click that. Then you're gonna go ahead and click pop out chat. So you're gonna have a little window here now. You, this is going to be super valuable. It's a must for OVR drop. Next, you're gonna open your OVR drop. You're going to drop down this. You're going to go ahead and find the Twitch the pop out so i'm using google chrome so twitch google chrome okay cool so now what i'm going to do i still have my vr launched remember your vr headset and your controllers have to be turned on for this to work so if they're not turned on you will not get these options so turn on your headset turn on your controllers make sure it's all inside of your light boxes go ahead and click whichever one you want i like having a uh, chat on my left controller so click left controller and i like having it so when i flip my wrist that's when it comes up so go below flipped and now you should be good to go when you hop over in game the other thing you're going to want to fix and right now i'm telling you is you're going to want to scale your chat your chat's going to be huge it's going to take up so much space see how it says one by one over here go ahead and type in 0.5 you can make it smaller if you like you'll see when we get in game type in 0.5 again so now we got those settings saved everything should be good to go i will meet you over in the game to show you what your chat looks like with ovr drop so say we just got in game we went with the ovr drop layout now that we've set all those settings up you should see the ovr drop logo right here when you flip you're gonna get a weird gray thing where's your text box well we have to make sure it's always on top at all times so go into your menu you're going to go ahead and find your your google chrome box now it is on top of everything i like to keep my stream labs up here as well because if somebody follows or subs or raids or anything like that you have the notification coming up right there you go idle so obviously it's not the greatest thing but that's what's working for me right now if i find another way i'll let you guys know if anybody knows of other ways feel free to go ahead and throw that down. But again, so now we have this on top. So now when we go back in game, you should be able to flip and there's your chat. If you didn't change your scale to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 in the bottom right corner in the application of the OVR drop, then it's gonna look huge. So if your chat box is really big, make sure you go back and fix that. And again, you can make it smaller if you need to, but this should pretty much have that all figured out for you. And now the next thing we need to fix is we need to get rid of this ugly OVR drop, little like blue, logo thing so we're gonna hop back over into ovr drop itself and i'll show you how to disable that okay so we're back in our ovr drop you can see at the upper left corner that's what we're using right now and what we're going to do is go ahead and click additional settings and overlay settings show backside blue if you really want the logo i guess you could go with any of these other choices however i think none looks the best it's the cleanest you won't break immersion for your viewers click none okay great now let's hop back over and see what it looks like no no. Guys, this is what happens. Really this is what happens when, when you fail. Like, literally, if your legs connect, this is what full body VR is like. So if you want to know what full body VR is like, go ahead and purchase full body and experience just a life of torture straight up. <laughs> Okay, so we're back in. You should be able to flip, and there our chat is, and we have no ugly logo. Yes, dude! Victory! Now we are fully intertwined, and again, if you would like, if somebody goes heads, if somebody drops a follow, sub, or like, if you hear the notification go off, you could, again, go into idle, check, and see who followed, thank them, whatever you gotta do. Again, not the best, most optimal way. If I find another way, I'll let you know. If anybody else has a better way, drop it in the comments. <laughs> All right, so we got chat all set up now. And if you would like to do a sort of loggy style camera, you can do that. Or if you want to just have chat on your hand and have everyone who's watching your stream be able to see what you're seeing like this, then stay like this. You're perfectly good. Move on to the next step of the tutorial. Otherwise, if you'd like a vloggy sort of view, you can go ahead into your menu, click camera, click stream camera. You're going to want to go ahead and flip this over to see you. Right now, this will be considered upside down. So if I go in my stream labs, you're going to see that it's upside down. We don't want that. So I'm going to have to flip my 
my camera again. So move your phone around until you get that orientation just right. Let me check again. We are all set now. So yes, everything's good. I personally like this more than the other way because I like being very like vloggy about it. You could give chat little head pats and be all cute and personal. And it's just great. Isn't it so great to just be like right here like this? I think it's awesome. So I would go with this. There's also a lot of settings on your phone that you can go ahead and try out that can sort of change things up. You can do filters, all that stuff. I could do a separate video on that if you guys are interested. But yeah, and if you guys know any other ways, go ahead and drop stuff down in the comments. Any other help is always appreciative. Anyways, let's go ahead and move forward into the slobs part of the tutorial. Let's go set things up in Streamlab to present it to look nice for chat now that you got your Twitch chat working on your wrist and now that you got a vlog style camera or an in-game camera. Let's go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is do a new scene. I'm going to call it VR chat. This is gonna be new for the sake of showing you guys from scratch what I have set up. It's gonna bring me into my VR chat room. I'm gonna go ahead and click plus. I'm gonna do game capture, add source. We're gonna do new source. And this is going to be capture a specific window. VR chat, done. All right, so now it has VR chat captured. I'm in desktop mode right now to show you guys because I'm not gonna be in VR while recording this. So I got VR chat loaded. I'm also going to go ahead and add an image. This is going to be my little Saya. This is again, just a piece of art. So if you have any like OC character art of your model, you could do something like that. Put it in the corner, that's what I do. And then the last thing I'm going to do, actually not last thing, because you're gonna want your follower or alert box as well. I'm assuming you have your alerts already set up. Uh, that's going to be an alert box when people follow sub, but you have to have had that set up. So if you don't have it set up and you don't know how, you can go ahead and look at my Streamlabs tutorials. I'll drop some of those links down below, but go ahead and click. Now you got your alert, alert box set up. So if I test a widget, you're going to see that I'm going to have it come up. Great. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move this over in the corner right here so that it's not taking up whatever's going on in the screen, just in case something crazy happens like a raid and a lot of people are following, it won't block what's going on. So having it somewhere up here might be better for you. So then the last thing we're going to add here is a chat box because it's really good to have context so people can kind of see what's going on in the chat. Otherwise, if they can't see, if you're doing a vlog style and they can't see you flipping your chat, they don't know what you're saying or who you're talking to. So adding that context where you have a chat box is going to be super helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and add that chat box and I'm going to go ahead and put it right above Saya and I will now go ahead and show you an example of what that looks like. All right, so as you can see, you should be able to see my Twitch chat. This is a layout that I like doing. I have my little uh, Saya Chibi, I have my Twitch chat. You can, I would recommend putting your Twitch chat up because if you're streaming like this with your camera in a vlog style, people won't see the actual chat that you're reading. So make sure, <laughs> make sure my, dude, I can't. Make sure you, uh, you go ahead and put your Twitch chat because I think that really helps so people kind of have some context as to what's going on. I learned this from my last test stream. But anyways, yeah, you can do the layout however you want and i'll show you how to do that as well in streamlabs so heck yeah <clears throat> by the way gamers this is a this is a key mistake that you're seeing up here at the upper left corner uh where my saya is flipped because i had to flip this whole thing over while editing because i managed to fail flipping my camera don't do this make sure your camera is flipped the right way especially before recording so don't be an epic failure well, okay there's the camera by the way first of all i'd like to say congrats for winning freaking third place on the remix stream competition yes. Yes, so Dude, i'm so yes. stoked about it yes oh my god it's actually so nice that's so good. I'm so proud. Good job. I just slapped my tablet. Good job. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for coming out to this video. I hope it was helpful. By the way, this music you're hearing right now is by the one and only Yurisi, who is a legend. So if you need commission music and you need anything for an intro, outro, or just need music in general because Yurisi makes great music, go check him out. I'm gonna drop his link down below. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have anything to say for yourself to represent your music? <laughs> but yeah, check out my music if you like. Uh, and if you enjoy it, let me know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>